and check one of the most important things you want to do before you go on a vacation or a trip. If you have the Subaru Outback, one thing, it's a little neat thing, it's hidden, but when you open up the bottom, you can see there's actually a little hook that you can take out and hook it up around the top to keep that open. All right, now you can see a little bit better. Basically, it hooks up around the top to hold everything up. So now what we want to check is our spare. The one thing I like about the Outback is it has this little tray. You can see I got lots of other things in there, like a little tire inflator and power converter and umbrellas and everything. But it lifts right out, and here we can see our tire. We also have, this is where we keep our cable for towing the trailer. Now we just got to loosen that up and get it out. Remember, these are not your normal tires to use, so you want to check your inflation on these. Because on this car, normally the tire pressure is about 30 to 32 PSI is where you want would like it. On here, it says that you want it at 60 PSI. Take this off. And we're a little low. We're sitting at 40. So we got to put some air in this. All right. We just put some in. We'll check it again here. 59.5. 59.8. I think that's close enough. And Subaru does give this little triangle looking thing that goes underneath the spare that actually helps keep it from rattling around squeaking or anything such so make sure you get that back in right and you'll see it actually is somewhat shaped to fit so it has different parts that go down in there and this sits down in there first and then your tire is going to go on top of this so then the tire sits in here like this and one thing i always make sure is my valve stem i know is right here where there's nothing that's going to hit it so it's not pushing on that valve stem then you get this and you get it lined up and start screwing it back in nice and tight now all that's left is put this back in and close it back up and you can see that just slips right in there nice that fits in there like that and now you have this part that you undo. You bring it around and you just hook it back into there and it'll be there for the next time I need it. All right, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped somebody out. If you could, give me a like and a subscribe. I would appreciate it.